Joey, I got to start with the fourth. How did it feel for you not being at Coney Island this year? Oh man, it was a, it was weird. Uh, I got thrown a curveball, curveball. Uh, but you know what? I made the best of it. I, it's uh, I was super lucky that Fort Bliss invited me out to eat hot dogs, and it was, it was amazing. I was out in Texas eating hot dogs in front of soldiers, yeah, against soldiers, and they really pushed me to 57 hot dogs in five minutes, and and we we celebrated Fourth of July. It, it was it was uh yeah that, that's that's what the contest really is. It's a it's a Fourth of July celebration, and uh. Uh, maybe I'll make it back to Coney Island, Island in the future, but uh, it, uh, no matter what, I'll be celebrating Fourth of July eating hot dogs. I mean, stick there for a second, though, because, I mean, realistically, we're all looking at the future. Like, if you couldn't get it worked out this year, how do you guys come to a, a, some sort of an agreement that brings you together in the future? I think, uh, uh, I mean, we everybody, I there there was a lot of, uh, I wouldn't want to say, oh, there wasn't, uh, not an uproar, but there, they got a lot of, uh, there, there, there are a lot of people talking and expressing they were unhappy, whether it was with uh, Nathan's or Major League Gating and and or and even me. Uh, so I, I think that that's that's going to be a little bit of encouragement on everybody to for everybody to kind of come together and say, hey, let's let's put egos aside. Uh, let's let's really look at making sure that uh, all right, just because yeah, I'm sure there's a way to figure it out. And if if because uh, that's I mean. Yeah, we, we like to make people happy, everybody. And it, it's 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 lame that contract issues get in the way. Around the same time that happens, though, the world finds out that we're gonna get you versus Kobayashi. How do you prepare for that? Oh my god, this is this is exciting. This is uh this could be like the biggest contest ever. Uh it's a it's a it's been in the works for a long time. And this is uh he's the he's the one rival that I like, I don't know what he's capable of. So I it, it makes me push myself so hard. And he's gonna. We're gonna push each other to crazy limits. So it's uh, this is like, he's the one. He's the reason why. Like when I first got started in competitive eating, I thought it was really weird. And but then, then I watched him eat, and I was like, oh man, he's like, he's kind of like an athlete. Uh, it, it's not all overweight guys. I, I I didn't have to be ashamed of competitive eating. I was like, all right, I I can train my body to do this and push it to the limit. So it, it's weird because we have this. I have this relationship with him where I respect him a lot. But at the same time, we hate each other. <laughs> it's like it, it's it's so and it's so obvious. Like we uh, we like and I I don't hate him, but like he won't do interviews in the same room with me. He uh, he's very like he's he's very uh, dude. He's we're just ser ultra serious competitors. And uh, and I I mean I, I I have lots of competitive eaters who are friends, uh, but he's not one of them. And, and it's 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 awesome that we could. I mean. I, I, one day I'd like to be a friend with him, but I, I like that we're, we have this tension and, and it's going to make us push each other so hard during this contest. Well, when the contest was announced, it had me thinking because you taught me a lot uh, when we worked together in the past around the 4th of July uh, about sort of the schematics and the behind the scenes stuff, like how the hot dogs are cooked and the weather and all these things that play a part in how you prepare. So when you're looking at this sort of epic battle between the two greats, how much say do you guys have in the behind the scenes stuff and how all of this is going to go down? Oh, wow. So, yeah, yeah. You, you've been to the Fourth of July. So uh, Netflix, they're doing an amazing job. Okay. So they're, they're taking eater input. Uh, they're, they're, and they're only cooking hot dogs for two people. So they're going to make sure these hot dogs are, are the best. All right. So they're going to keep them warm and the buns aren't going to get stale. Like in, at, at Coney Island, they would, uh, things would sit out for like two hours sometimes. So the hot dogs are cold, buns are falling apart, making a mess. Uh, so Netflix, I, I, they, they've, they've asked they, we've gone back and forth already and they they've they i'm really confident they're gonna make sure these hot dogs are delicious and we're gonna uh, just super high quality so that there's no reason for uh numbers gonna be low and uh we're, we're gonna it's gonna be awesome what's the biggest challenge you'll face in a one-on-one -on -one competition instead of the usual thousands of people the vibe the energy oh it's uh the biggest con uh it's one one. I really haven't thought about the one that that little aspect so much. Uh, I've been more thinking about the, they, they've, one of the rules of change. It, it, all the it, our, uh, in all of our previous contests, we've been able to dunk buns. And in this contest, it's a no. There's a no dunking rule. So it, it's gonna it it's I know it, it's it's completely different. So I, my my rhythm is gonna change completely. I'm gonna have to drink more liquid. Uh, and it, it's gonna, I'm, it, it's gonna be that, that's gonna be really exciting. And it, I, I'm really confident though that I'm, my numbers, I'm, I'm gonna surprise some people with how how many I can eat without dunking. 
when you are uh, Joey Chestnut, how do you celebrate National Hot Dog Day? Oh, yeah. With a hot dog. A uh, hot dog topped with onions, mustard, and ice cold Pepsi. You, you can Pepsi. still find joy, though, brother. Like, you, when you go, if you go to a cookout and somebody gives you a hot dog, you, you, are you happy? Oh, my God. Especially if it's a good hot dog. Oh, yeah. Dude, so it, one of the best hot uh, cooking. Yeah, dude, I, uh, a hot dog cooked on a charcoal grill. Uh, you don't get them too often. But if I'm at a cookout, that, that's that, that's one of the best hot dogs. Uh, you can taste the charcoal flavor a little bit. Uh, but yeah, it, I, I I still love them, and that's what makes me good. I think it, it's not that's I still get cravings for hot dogs. Uh, I get, um, and I'm a little bit picky. If if somebody gives me a, a hot dog that has chicken or 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 uh, in it, I'm like, oh, dude, this is weird. Uh, <laughs> it's I, I like I like a hot dog that when it's cooked, it browns up and it gets a little bit oiliness to it on the outside. And I'm like, oh yeah, this thing's ready to eat. Fourth of July felt weird without you being out there, Coney Island. We're all excited to see the battle of Kobayashi coming up. Thanks, as always, for hanging out with me, my friend. Oh, thank you.